welcome to my third video in the series on resolving forces on inclined planes. In my last video, we looked at a block of m kilograms resting on a plane at an angle of alpha from the horizontal, and it had a force that was parallel to the horizontal acting on it, pushing it both into the plane and up it. This time, we have a force, F newtons, acting on our block, but this time our force is not parallel to the surface, so also not parallel to the horizontal. So we've got another angle involved, beta. And just like before, we'll start by drawing ourselves a free body diagram. So we're going to have our weight acting down, mg, just like before. We're going to have our normal reaction acting just like before. But this time, we've got our force acting at an angle of beta. So let's look see what forces we've got. So firstly, just as before, we're going to have to go through and break our forces so they're all perpendicular to each other. So again, put in a dashed line, a bit straighter this time. So we've got our normal reaction force. That's automatically perpendicular to the plane. Just like before, we're going to have mg cos alpha and mg sine alpha. But now we're going to have additional forces caused by our force of F newtons. Now, if we look at our force, we can see that it's pulling our block up the surface. So we're going to have a force acting up in this direction. But it's also tending to lift it off the surface. So we're going to have an additional force acting perpendicular to the surface and away from it. Now, just like previously, in order to be able to work these two forces out, we're going to look at our force in isolation from the others acting on the, bo acting on the body. So we're going to get rid of the forces we're not interested in. That leaves us just this force. Um, so we know this force has a magnitude of F newtons. And we're going to break it down into its components. It's going to have one component acting up the slope. And it's going to have another component acting perpendicular to the slope, and they're going to be at right angles to each other. Now, in our previous examples, when we went through and we found the components of the weight, and we found the components of the force acting into a plane, we had to go through and find the angle in order to find these components. Hopefully you've spotted, we already have the angle. It's beta. So, since our force parallel to the surface is adjacent to angle beta, the cosine of beta is going to be our parallel force. Divided by F. So our parallel force. Is going to be F cos beta. And sine beta is going to be our perpendicular force which is opposite our angle divided by F. So our perp force, which isn't a force of criminals, is F sine beta. So then we can simply put those two forces onto our free body diagram. So F cos beta and F sine 